from my career so far, this is the first time that something I'm working on, I honestly believe is going to change somebody's health in my lifetime. It's a pretty rare day where, where you come up with something where you go, I, I think this has a chance of doing something that's going to be large and it can directly impact um, the well-being of, of, of a large number of people with very bad diseases. From a macro perspective, I look at it as like our scientists invented the Hubble telescope as opposed to a pair of binoculars to, to, to look at the immune system. A couple colleagues and I, one of which is Chris Carlson, who's a co-founder of the company, um, created a way to take a measurement of the immune system that's uh, much deeper than, than has been previously possible. What we do is profile your adaptive immune system. And each of us is born with the ability to, to produce antibodies and T cell receptors. These are the things that allow you to react to a vast array of antigens. Past technology, which could only look at a few of these types at one time, looking at a handful, even 10,000 out of 100 million different types is an insignificant fraction, so you don't really get much information. So instead of having to assume that there are 10 million different things within an individual, we could actually see most of them. Immune responses in general are extremely complex at the cellular and the molecular level, and that complexity has defied all previous um, attempts to um, define it. At the time we started this, in all of the public databases on the planet, there were about 10,000 of these that had been published, that anybody had ever described. In our first run, we got about 5 million. I mean, I think we were all pretty shocked, um, obviously excited, but pretty shocked when, when we just started seeing, you know, tens of millions of T cell receptor sequences that were obviously T-cell receptor sequences. For me, I grew up with Harlan, so I didn't have those hurdles to get across. I knew that when he came and said, this is really big, I was like, this is really big. Fundamentally, it's a, a new method that we can use to do basic research, to ask questions of the immune system, where people, like I said, have been assuming how the immune system works as opposed to actually looking at how it works. The scale of this data is, is tremendous. I mean, it's, it's at a level where, in my entire life, this is the first time I've not been able, even if I wanted to, to look at all of the data. You know, pick your analogy, the pickaxe for the gold rush or the, the routers for the internet. Um, you know, it, it allows uh, that exploration. We strongly feel that this technology will be a, a fundamental tool for people in a, v varied areas of research and we might not even have thought of the application, but we're offering the tool that might facilitate some large discoveries that they're gonna make. And that was part of the motivation for starting the company. As a scientist, the goal is to empower the community to do new things. We needed this to be commercial in order for the community to have access to it. Most of the scientists with whom I've spoken feel it hard to restrain themselves. Uh, they're, they're very interested in really trying to learn what we can using these uh, incredibly powerful technologies. Uh, we've been thinking about this area for, for a while and their work has definitely um, uh, helped to shape uh, how we're thinking about it moving forward. With a resolution that's essentially been impossible uh, prior to now, simply because the technology didn't exist. When I first saw this, I recognized pretty quickly that this was an exciting new technology because of its capability. The ways in which this could be applied um, are, are growing uh, as, as, I think, as we think more deeply about, about it. Right? Monitoring immune responses, discovery of clonotypes that, that are indicative of, of having established an immune response, monitoring of uh, hematologic malignancies. The technologies that Harlan and Chris are developing will give us absolutely unprecedented ability to understand at a cellular and molecular level what is going on in a complex immune response. This is something that a lot of people have worked on for a good while, right? And, and um, I think Harlan and Chris, uh, through diligence, um, cracked it. The single biggest step forward that uh, I've seen in the last five to ten years.